everyone. Welcome to Looky Looky Lou Crafts. I'm Candace, and today's intro sign was created by California Karen 789. Thank you, Karen. All right. So today, guys, I already made a little video about uh, sharing a little of my life that I got a new Bible. So if you didn't see that video, and, uh, you know, it's more like a friend video. So, you know, if you're one of my buds and you're interested in that, you know, have a look. But, uh, so, I went to Hobby Lobby because I had watched a few haul videos and some ladies got some pads that I didn't uh, see the first time I was there. And that I thought I just had to have while they were on sale. So, I went back and got them. And, uh, so I was going to show you those and I got, a. Uh, a few other things too. I mean, I just uh, have no self-control, <laughs> but that's okay. I had a little extra spending money, so I did a little extra spending. Um, let me get, uh, untie everything and uh, I thought I was ready. I ain't never ready. I think I can just reach and pick stuff up, but I can't. So what I got uh, was these uh, storage containers here, guys. And they're just clear ones, but they was three ninety nine, and that beat the heck out of five dollars in my book. So I got me two. And if I hadn't already bought so much other stuff, I would have got you know four or five of them. But, uh, yeah, I had already got me some goodies. So, for $4, I thought it was good. This is a 12 by 12 inch one piece. Okay, well. Now, the ones I got from Michael said I paid $5 for, one of them is already broke. And uh, I don't know if I got it broke or it just got broke. I, and uh, it broke up here on one of the corners. It's a big old crack going around. So I was not happy with that at all. Anyway, I got two of these and maybe they'll work out for my new paper pads. And I got one to be for my scrap paper. So that's what that'll do. Uh, I think that's all I got in that bag for th it's those two things. Of course, my sweet pea is behind my back, so ugh, that's a little hard for me to move. Okay, sweet pea. Oh, okay. If y'all hear strange noises in the background, my dog Bear went and stowed the neighbor's dog Bone. So she's in there having herself a good fun. And uh, it's her second bone. <laughs> so that she stowed today. So they had a whole bunch of people over there. So I think they must have had ribs or something and, and gave all their bones to their little dog. They, she couldn't eat them all. <laughs> My dog is helping her out. So I got this pad. And I got uh, this Christmas pad. Oh, oh, come on. They're so heavy. I got that Christmas pad. And y'all seen these. Uh, a lot of people have hauled them. And uh, they're 549. The 20 designs, three sheets each, and they're 60 sheets. I'll just give you a little flip in case you ain't seen anybody else's. Yeah, right, we can have an end flip here. And so, when it comes time to make my Christmas cards, uh, maybe this year I could get a head start because I have a few things saved up. And I thought this was cuter than the ornament one. They did have the ornament one, but I wasn't thrilled about it. And this one I thought was real nice. This is the Darling Dearest. 60 sheets, same thing, 549, 
and uh, I thought it was just real cute. Let me try to give you a little flip. Okay, maybe that's it. They're nice and pastels. And I don't know if it's kind of babyish or not, but I liked it there. And I'm not going to use it for babies. I like the swan. I think it'll make a nice journal. There's more deers. There, you get the idea. The more swans. I, I, I really like swans. And uh, I apparently like deer. I've been being attracted to deers. Okay, let's see if that'll sit there. Nope. Where will you sit? Oh, okay, sit there. Hang on, tree pea. Another doggy is back. Now, that's all the, the paper paper that I got. But they had these packs hanging up. And I had seen some other ladies haul these too. And I thought, well, I need to look to see if they got any of those. And they did. So they had a few. What do I got? Oh, well, those are some books we're going to look at in a minute. Well, uh, first I wanted to show you these packs. This is a paper studio. And I thought this would work for... Winter or Christmas themes, journals or cards or ATCs or whatever you make with paper. And so it has these little things in it. I would have rather had the ephemera pack, but it just came with these stickers. And... See, there's the back. It shows you what it's got. So, anyway, I liked it for a winter thing, and it was half off, so it was $3. Okay, let's put that there. I tell you, I can't buy much more, y'all. I'm out of space. Okay, so this is... Another three dollars. Everything Paper Studio was on sale, and this is B. Bees, and I got it because it was bees. And it's not that I love bees, y'all, but there seem to be a lot of bee collabs and challenges that happen, and so I wanted to be ready for the next one. And so I thought this would be awesome for that, and it has this nice ephemera pack. Let me show you the back. And look at those beautiful colors. I mean, how could you not like it? There you go. So if you ain't got nothing for bees, for three dollars, this is a good starter pack, I think. Okay, I got this one. I thought this was going to match one of my uh, books that I already have. I think it's called Navy Blue. Uh... But I thought that would match it. So I'd have some matching in ephemera. This is the pack. This is all you get. And it does come with this extra paper, so that's cool too. Comes with all this. It's got a unicorn and all kinds of goodies over there. So I got that one for $3. And I got this one for my son. My son really likes fishing. And, uh, so, you know, him being a guy, I thought this would be a good pack for making guy stuff. So there we go. If I could find a trucker one, I would get it. Can you see? Okay, there we go. All the little fishies and the fishing stuff. There's little canoes. This is the paper. Which I think is very nice. Okay, so these are just some books that I got on the clearance aisle. Look, this was sixteen ninety five, and I got it for a dollar sixty nine. And uh, 
This is an artist's guide to painting with Gucci on the go. I don't know what it means, but it looked like it was a beginner's uh, painting book, and I'm a beginner. It looks like, you know, I could maybe uh, doodle out something like that. You know, nothing great or fantastic. It looks all like beginner art. And so, while I'm not doing any painting right now, I will be someday. I got the paints. And I like to make my own painting papers from time to time. And uh, so I thought this book might be helpful for a dollar sixty nine, if nothing else. I could cut the pictures out and use them. You know, so for a dollar sixty nine, I thought that was a good deal. And I still remember painting in school with the uh, oil pastels. And I was terrible at it, but I loved the pastels and how they felt as they glided on the paper. So that's why I got this. Dollar sixty-nine. Uh, yeah, I'd like to get me a set of oil pastels. So again, it's just photos and uh, telling you about how to do stuff. And I thought it might be helpful. Even if I'm not using the oil pastels, whatever I'm using, I, I'm thinking it would be helpful in it. You know, teaching you about shading and, and all kinds of stuff like that. Color swathing and all kinds of stuff like that. Yeah, I like to get me some oil pastels. I watch a little boy. <coughs> Excuse me. It's been a little while since I watched him, but I don't know. He's about 10 years old. And boy, he just takes him away past us and his fingers. And he comes up with the most beautiful landscapes you ever seen. You wouldn't know it was done by a kid. <laughs> so anyway, I, I don't remember who he is now. It's been a while since I watched him. So this one was 219, and it's animation. Learn techniques for drawing and animating cartoon characters. Well, I'm not into that, but any technique is good, right? And for 219, I thought, well, you know, cartoony doesn't have to be like perfection, so that might be a good thing. This is the back of the book. And if nothing else, I could trace whatever I want. So, these all look like beginner books, and I think I will like it. You know, it might help me out. Learning to draw and, you know, make shapes and everything like that. It's cartoony that doesn't have to look absolute real. So I thought that might be a good place to start. Okay, I already looked at this one. I already looked at that one. Okay, what do I got? Okay, I got one more bag, guys. Let me reach it. Oh! oh. Uh-oh, sweet bee fail. Okay. She gets by behind my back, y'all, and... Uh, She's like my little heating pad. She cures what ails me back there. When I go shopping, boy, am I hurting when I come home. So I got these guys, and I thought, you know what? If I snip this end, I would have a tassel. Look at all them tassels. Well, there's one's already snipped. Or half of it snipped. Oh, why can't you just... Cut this top part off and make a tassel out of it. I think you could. And so I got it. It was 49 cents. And it's got a whole bunch on it. Oh yeah, look at that. 
Now this is a darker green, but if you're gonna make a, like hanging off a book or something, hey, it was 49 cents, it was worth it. <laughs> the same with this. This is like, uh, it looks like two separate trims in there. One is a tassel and, and one ain't. Well, hey, I'm gonna open it. It was 49 cents too. Let's open it, just see what's in there. Scissors, scissors, over here, scissors. Anyway, that's what it looked like to me. Maybe it is connected. My little pin. Yeah, it's connected. Anyway, that's a tassel. You could cut it off and hook it onto something. That's kind of a mustard yellowy color. So, yeah, I like that one. Anyway, I, I think there are ways to that I could uh, use this. And for 49 cents, it can sit in my someday bin and be there when I have a great idea. And I have a, uh, it's kind of like a, well, it ain't red. It ain't pink. And it ain't purple. <laughs> <laughs> it's some combination thereof. <laughs> it's kind of a like a, a rustic pink. Can I? I'm gonna rename it rustic pink. There we go. <laughs> the same. The tassels. <coughs> so I got this little uh, jar of uh, glitter. I think it's glitter glue, but it's a. Uh, uh, it's got big little circles in there. So you can see that. And that was 49 cents. Oh, I got one more of these. Okay, so this is like a, a pale pink one. And it was 49 cents. So all these are 49 cents. You can't pass them up. Or I couldn't. Okay, got these guys. It's the only thing that was not on sale. It was three ninety nine, but it's those little glue bottles with the tiny tips that I've been a hunting, and I don't even know where I found them. They were I found them by accident. They were just on one of the aisles, so I got them even though I had to pay full price. So I got this little die cut. Stickers, eight design, three each, 24 pieces, and that's what you get. I need to get me some woodland stuff, some squirrels and deer and bears and <coughs> chipmunks and what else lives in the woods, you know, that kind of stuff. I've seen several people get these. And uh, last year I had uh, did a, a skate and sleigh collab, and I thought, man, I wish I'd had those like then. But anyway, if we do another skate and sleigh this year, I'll have some skates, <laughs> and of course the joys back there. I got these, and these are real cute. These were a dollar twenty-four. All these were a dollar twenty-four. And uh, the little owls I thought were real cute. And a lot of people love owls. And so I got me some of those because they was on sale. Oh, look here, y'all. I got a thimble. <laughs> and it actually says thimble. <laughs> I didn't know it was a thimble because it don't look like a thimble. But uh, this is a leather thimble. 
Now look right there, it says thimble. <laughs> thimble. <laughs> now that's a leather thimble, it looks like that. There you go. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know what thimbles are. Uh, so I got me some uh, some of these because of the woodland thing. The whole woodland thing. And all these are $1.24. And it's got the moose and the bear and the buffalo. And the wild and free. And adventure. And be brave. And I don't know what this thing in the middle is. There you go. And uh, I just love these. These are so cute. This is twenty-four, And uh, they're little angels and little birdies. I guess the birdies are supposed to be doves. But they're teeny tiny. And I thought those were just so cute. So cute. So cute. May use them in my Bible. Who knows? I got a new thing of the... Uh, llamas. They were too cute. Had to get them. I'm not big on llamas, but a lot of people are big on llamas. And uh, I always think of California care when I see llamas. So I got some. I really love these. And uh, I just, I love the colors. And it has a little birdie. I love the little birdie. And the butterflies are, are very, very pretty. So I love those. Uh, these were 74 cents. And they had four packs. And I only got two. And I got the candies because I didn't get them the other day. And I thought, well, for Christmas coming up, these might be really nice for Christmas. I got this little pack of buttons, y'all. Little sunflower buttons to uh, put on my paper clips. I thought those were real cute. And they were a dollar fifty for six little buttons. Okay. I got these. This was thirty nine cents. Uh they're buttons. Pretty big buttons. But for thirty nine cents I hang it off a chunky charm. It'd be real nice. It comes with its own little coddle pins. So, yeah, cool. This one was missing one, but it was 32 cents. And again, I could hang them off of charms or my paper clips. And, you know, I just won't have one. That's all. But 32 cents, I could take a missing one. And I got this. Kind of got a little bent already. I'm bent. This was 74 cents. Just a little beach theme. Pool theme. I'm already done with my beach theme thing. But I liked it so well, I think I'm going to do something else. I'm going to make another beach uh, thing. So I like that. And this is my last one, y'all. This is a... Uh, this was a dollar twenty-four, and this is a Christian one. It has Christian things in it. It has the two packs, and I like making the Christian ATCs. And uh, I want to do a page, and uh, this is what's on the back. And uh, you can always use this stuff. You can find something to use it for, and. and Having inspirational stuff that reminds you of the Lord is always good, in my opinion. Okay, guys, that's my little haul. That wasn't so little. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. It uh, was a little more than I anticipated, but you know what? I didn't hold back. I just, I had a little money, and I just let myself go shopping without any guilt or responsibility, you know. Because this is all fun, right? And uh, you gotta have some fun. I sit here alone, 24 hours a day. This is what I do for fun. 
So why not? If it's on sale, go on and get you some goodies. That's what I told myself. And I let myself get me some goodies. I also got this thread, y'all. It was not on sale either. But, <coughs> excuse me. This is a cotton thread. And you can see, I can feel this thread in my fingers. I cannot feel that other thread in my fingers. And I wish I knew where the other thread was, since I would compare it for you. But when I do find it, oh yeah, there it is. See, I knew where it was. This thread is so thin, I can't hardly feel it in my fingers. And so, I mean, if you can't feel it, it's kind of hard to find it. And uh, look how thin that is. Okay. Let me hold it too. Two pieces together. So the top one is the thin one. You see, can you see the difference? I can see the difference, but maybe because I know what I'm looking for. But this one is really thin. Uh, and this one is thicker. So this is cotton thread. I think it's for quilting. It's from Coates and Clark. And it costs like five five dollars. And so, yes, I'm very happy to have this thread because this thin thread was making me crazy. So, that's it, except for some food, which I don't need to see. As, uh, let me show you. Coats and Clark, in case y'all want some. Oh, no, can you see? Okay, well. That's the best I can do for you. So, this is going to help me. I think. And that's it. So, that's it. That's all my goodies, y'all. I hope you enjoyed my little haul. And, uh, please, like, comment, subscribe, share, ring the little bell. <coughs> Inter interact, excuse me. Interact any way that you want to. And, uh, Please leave me a comment. I love to hear from everyone. Until next time. Do as the Lord have you to do. And I will see you on my next video. Bye bye now.